This week's take on fresh fish is fried cod, battered and breaded homemade tartar sauce. But what really separates it is the fish market where it comes from. Let's dive in. Fried fish, fried cod. Who doesn't love fried fish, right? And, and so I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and fried cod is one of the biggest things there is. This is actually, a lot of people don't know this, the biggest fried cod market in the world is in Europe. Second biggest, the Ohio Valley. So Cincinnati, up towards Indianapolis, Louisville. You know, we happen to be in all three markets, but it is hugely popular, mainly because of how many Catholics there are in the region. And during Lent, can't eat meat on Fridays, and so they have fish fries. And what do they normally fry is cod. But cod is, it's very, very important. There's all kinds of different cod out there. If you can find it, you always wanna get North Pacific cod. This is way up Alaska, you know, during the, in the Bering Sea, stuff like that. That's the best cod, or North Atlantic cod, like near Iceland. You know, one of those two areas, those are the two best areas. Sometimes there'll be some from Asia and things like that. You really wanna avoid that if you can, but one of the things you wanna do, you wanna make sure that it's as fresh as you can possibly get it, because sometimes they actually add chemicals and things like that to that. So, like we've talked about, when you're talking at your fish market or you're talking to the fishmonger, ask the questions, and then you'll see. But what we're gonna do today is a classical fried, uh, fried cod. And here's the deal. So a lot of people like battered fish, a lot of people like breaded fish. So to make that argument easier, I like to do them both at the same time. And what we're gonna fry in is peanut oil. Peanut oil has a high smoke point. So you wanna make sure you get the oil to about 360 degrees. And, and the reason why you go to 360 is because when you put the cold fish in there, it's gonna bring the temperature of the oil down. So what you do is, I cut that, I had a big filet of cod, I cut it into individual size pieces. You wanna dip it in the batter, and you wanna get that nicely coated. And I use a batter called Weisenberger uh, Fish Batter Mix. You can use whatever brand you like the best. This one just happens to be my preference. And then I like a cornmeal bread. So you, 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 you dipped it in the batter, and then you're gonna do what they call dredge it in the breading. And you just wanna make sure it absorbs all of that breading that it can. And we're gonna do that two more times. Now, one of the other keys too, some people like cocktail sauce with their uh, fried fish, some people like ketchup. I'm a tartar sauce guy, and if you like tartar sauce, tartar sauce is super, super simple to make, and we're gonna make some here in a little bit. Don't buy it in a jar. I mean, if you have to, you can, but it's just so much better if you make it yourself. And when I, like, when I buy my fish, I like to get it at a fish market or, or someone that has a, really has a dedicated uh, fishmonger or something like that just because they know more you know a lot of times we, if you buy it at the grocery store whoever's working in that seafood counter they might be a brand new employee they don't they, you might know more about fish than they do but not only that they may not sell as much fish as a dedicated fish market would so you're you're subject to get fish that's not quite as fresh as the rest so our oil's ready we're getting ready to drop them all right so we got the oil good and hot Get your tongs. I, can, I normally put them in by hand, but I can't do it. It's too hot for that. So while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and make the tartar sauce. Oh, and by the way, those size pieces of fish, which I'm gonna guess they are about four to five ounces each, they take about three and a half to four minutes to cook. So I'm on a timer. So here we've got, looks like about three quarters of a cup of uh, mayonnaise. My personal preference on the mayonnaise is Duke's. Some people like Hellman's, some people like Kraft's, some people like whatever store it is. Duke's is just something that I learned from way back in the restaurant business and that's what I like to use. And then what we're gonna do is just a few capers and it's okay if that juice from the capers gets in there, it'll taste better. And then we're gonna do a sweet pickle relish. And what you're gonna do with the sweet pickle relish is you're gonna start out with one heaping tablespoon and then go from there. Because you can always put more in, you can't take it out. 
And then what the kicker for me is the next three things. And what that is, is just a few dashes of hot sauce. Some pepper. And some salt. And mix that up. Now, I'm making it now while we're frying the fish, but I'll tell you this. If you mix this up a few hours before, then it'll actually come out better because the, the flavors will start to incorporate. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more relish. Alright. And the tartar sauce is ready. Alright, it's been about four minutes or so. Fish is ready. You want to be very, very careful, obviously, because the oil is very hot. Actually, first thing you do, turn the fire off. Got that off. Take the fish out. Let it drain for a little bit. And then I like to let that just sit on a paper towel just for a minute or so. It's plenty hot. It'll stay plenty hot for sure. So you've got a, a battered fish that's been breaded. You got the best of both worlds. There you have it. Fried cod, one of my all time favorites. Battered, breaded, some kettle fried potato chips, homemade tartar sauce.